कलेश क्लीशेस और कटाव आज हमने बात की म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री के बारे में एक ऐसी इंडस्ट्री जिससे हम लोग रोज कनेक्ट करते हैं क्योंकि म्यूजिक हम में से कौन नहीं सुनता है आज हमने लिए इंडस्ट्री के इनसाइडर्स कि इंडस्ट्री चलती कैसे है लेबल्स क्या होते हैं आर्टिस्ट लेबल्स के पास जाते क्यों हैं आर्टिस्ट पैसे कैसे कमाते हैं आज हमने इन टॉपिक्स पे बात की तो आज हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं रमन शर्मा इंडिया राइजिंग टैलेंट रमन ने अपने गाने जादुई परी से हम सबको ग्रुप करा ही दिया है लेकिन आज हमने उनसे बात की है इंडस्ट्री चलती कैसे म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री का बिजनेस कैसे होता है और बहुत सारे इंसाइडर्स तो बिना ज्यादा सस्पेंस क्रिएट किए शुरू करते हैं आज के कटाक्ष Hi Raman and Hello. welcome to Kataksh. Thank you so much for having me here. Definitely. Uh, uh, having you here is a very great feeling for us because someone of your age and with the caliber and talent that you have really inspires a lot of people. आपके साथ जब बैठ के हम लोग बातें करेंगे अभी तो I hope it adds something to the viewers और आप industry में कैसे आए and कैसे ये चीजें थोड़ी convert होईं in terms of business and art for you parallelly. that i hope inspires a lot of people definitely definitely um i mean uh this is obviously my first podcast and i was pretty excited when i heard ki like oh there's a organization called kickstart and they want uh to host me uh on this podcast and yeah uh the music industry is just something which i didn't actually choose to be a part of but as an artist you have to be a part of it anyways so that's just my stance on like oh in the situation here so music kab aaya life mein when when did you start music yeah uh i think music sab log ke life mein they get introduced to it pretty early on uh i mean i'm sure sab log ke mom dad they just like mm. put people on to like old bollywood and stuff so i think i was 3 years old when uh i like first started getting obsessed with music oh. and mummy mummy ko bola ki like oh i was really into like beats and rhythm and stuff so i told my mom like uh i want to learn drums and she was like you're pretty small for learning a drums and uh, like getting a drum set was like a big hassle tabhi mm. so ah. they were like yeah just 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 learn tabla instead cuz cuz <laughs> indian classical <laughs> and that's basically how so i started so you wanted to learn western music but they put you to indian <laughs> they put me into indian classical that's basically sab log ka story uh-huh. but and when you're that young you don't actually like appreciate indian classical for what it is like tabhi i was just like oh i'm 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 little i just want to like play the beats which i hear in songs and I just want to like be the jb of exactly with jb not necessarily but like i wanted to like make stuff which i heard on the radio basically So okay. I was like my dream so I was like I wanted to learn drums and then dheere dheere I started learning Indian classical singing and then um my brother was into piano keyboard guitar and all that stuff so basically we taught each other and uh, the pandemic was when I started producing and making my own music actually on like digital audio workstations okay okay so so tell me more tell me more about uh, you guys and uh, how you guys came up with like a podcast and ओके सो थ्री मंथ्स बैक शिवायु एंड ही शिवायु एंड शी इज अंशिका एंड वी वर जस्ट हैंगिंग अराउंड एंड शिवायु केम अप विद द आइडिया कि कटाक्ष करते हैं बेसिकली उसने कहा कि एक पॉडकास्ट करते हैं ओके जिसमें वी वांट टू कीप इट कॉन्वर्सेशनल अभी तक मोस्ट ऑफ द पॉडकास्ट आप जो भी देखोगे वो इंटरव्यूज होते हैं सॉर्ट ऑफ या मोस्टली पीपल एक्सप्रेस देयर ओपिनियन बट अगर किसी को जानना है कि आपका पर्सपेक्टिव चीजों का क्या है या हु इज द मैन बिहाइंड जादुई परी सो अगर वो जाना है तो वो चीजें वी फील कि कॉन्वर्सेशंस में बेटर आती हैं तो दैट इज हाउ वी स्टार्टेड और कटाक्ष नाम कैसे है वो स्टोरी शुभम बताएगा एक्चुअली वी वांटेड टू नो द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एवरी अदर पर्सन हु इज केपेबल टू डू समथिंग सी यू आर एट टॉप ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंसरशिप and we wanted to know the insiders how did you start and what are you mm-hmm. doing which people don't know mm-hmm. so hum logo ne socha ki aise bahut log hain jinke bare mein log nahi jante hum unse baat karenge katak ka basic ye hai ki baat cheet theek hai hum baat karenge kuch questions hum puchhenge kuch questions aap pucho aur ek dusre ko jante hain basically reflection dete hain ek dusre ko to katak ka meaning ye also what uh, we planned is ki katak 
जब कोई करता है तो इट इज बेसिकली कि आपको कोई आर्ग्यूमेंट पास किया जा रहा है और यू काउंटर इट सो दैट इज कटाक्ष सो कटाक्ष इज कैन लाइक डिबेट हिंदी में हाँ कटाक्ष इज आर्ग्यूमेंट हिंदी तो पॉइंट ये की फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू अदेर एंड आप पे भी काफी सारे विथ अ लॉट ऑफ पॉपुलरिटी कम्स अ लिटिल यू नो थोड़ा रश होता है लोगों में कि पोलराइजिंग ओपिनियंस होते हैं ऑब्वियसली तो आप पे जो ओपिनियंस थ्रो होते हैं इधर कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म और प्योरली हेट तो उस पे आपका क्या पर्सपेक्टिव है या हाउ डू यू काउंटर इट या आपके क्या जवाब है दैट इज कटाच दैट इज अंडरफुल the scenes are like working really hard yeah, definitely and, all yeah. of them are working really hard okay so uh considering this is your first podcast what made you call me to the show okay so shubham so baat ye hai ki aap jo gen z generation hai uh huh bahut famous ho theek hai ye sare sunte hai aapko theek hai college mein aur ladkiya to पागल हो रखी ओके तो तुम लोग सब कॉलेज में से हो एंड यू गाइस हैड दिस आइडिया ऑफ मेकिंग लाइक अ पॉडकास्ट आई स्टार्टेड वी कॉलेज से तुम लोग वी आर इंजीनियर्स फ्रॉम पुणे पुणे या ओह माय गॉड सो यू गाइस यू गाइस केम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम पुणे टू शूट ऑब्वियसली दिल्ली नो 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 पुणे ओके आई मीन वी आर स्टडीइंग इन पुणे वी आर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट प्लेस ओके 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 ठीक है सो आर यू स्टडीइंग राइट नाउ व्हाट आई जस्ट फिनिश्ड 12th यस ओके सो आई आई विल बी गोइंग टू कॉलेज राइट नाउ इन या व्हाट स्ट्रीम uh science cuz uh everybody's into science Obviously. these days and it's like a more sort of a career but i just want to like do a lot of things i don't want to stick to one thing so there's music there's being an artist there's even being a student athlete and there's also academics everything mm. it's just a jumble sab kuch so you're cetera. doing multiple things at once it, not at once i think ek cheez pe focus karta for like a certain period of time is sab ke sath hota and then Like if you have two things, you can't like give a focus to one thing, and then you give a focus to one thing for a little while, and then after that, the other thing is like some sidelines will start to appear. That's basically how. Until that, when there is a kick mill, it continues. Until that, it continues. Then the other thing starts to appear. Not necessarily, necessarily kick mill. Sometimes you have to do stuff just to kick it. Not necessarily, and then mm-hmm. you're like, you are good at it. I think you mm-hmm. have to like focus on what you're good at after some point because. what you want can also keep changing cuz that's just how people are in any ways so what are you looking up now i am um, i have absolutely no clue actually <laughs> but that's okay i mean that's what i keep saying to myself at least but yeah i just keep on doing whatever interests me and just keep on finding new passions so be you just said ki aapne abhi abhi 12th pass kiya uh-huh. so were you popular in school considering you already had 150k no. or 200k followers actually it's the complete opposite i was i would consider myself pretty extroverted and like i knew everybody in school when i was in like till 9th standard and 9th ke baad when 10th standard was when the pandemic hit and uh uske baad like all this covid stuff influencer stuff happened and um that was so i think the end of 11th grade was when everybody came back to school and tum log ka tabhi actually first year of college ho gaya right uh-huh. yes yeah so that was when i came back to school and that was like it was completely different because during covid you like forget how to interact with people and you like forget how to be extra extroverted essentially hmm. and then uh people are talking about you and not with you so that just happens you're like walking in the corridor and there's people are just talking about you or not i might even not know cuz i had a chashme ka number and i not used to wear a chashma <laughs> So it's like you know when you're looking at people, but you're looking at nothingness because mm. you have a number, <laughs> and then people are like, "Oh yeah, Meko dekh raha," but he's not approaching me to talk to me, and it's just like they think you're ghosting them, but you're not actually. You're just like you're just looking ahead while walking. That's that's basically it. कोई सवाल पूछता है कितने दिख रहे हैं? ये कितने? No, that's two. <laughs> Obviously. So. Yeah. तो म्यूजिक का कोविड में मोटिवेशन कैसा हुआ कि आपको कंटेंट क्रिएट करना इससे आई ऐसा कुछ मोटिवेशन नहीं था आई जस्ट वांटेड टू मेक वीडियोस एंड पोस्ट देम ऑनलाइन आई थिंक एंड द फर्स्ट टू कवर्स आई पोस्टेड वर वेरी वेरी बैड बहुत गंदे थे बट देन ओवर टाइम नो बडी टोल्ड मी दैट लाइक स्टॉप लाइक थैंकफुली एंड देन ओवर टाइम आई सर लाइक एक्चुअली 
I started digging deep into like production, music production, how it works, and actual like equalize, how it works, normalize, how it works, and all that. And slowly, slowly, the sound design was a little bit like that. And then, as soon as your quality goes up, it just starts performing hmm. well, basically. So basically, you were the quiet kid in the class, who installed an FL studio in a day. And no, I was not the quiet kid in the, kid in the class. It's like once you, I don't, I don't use FL Studio, but you have FL Studio download kiya and you go into your cave and start making music, you become the quiet kid basically. Okay. Hmm. So, are you popular in college? Mein? No, no, not exactly. I would not. Abhi, abhi college mein shuru nahi hua. Abhi okay. shuru hua in, in like 10 days. Okay. Oh, so you're about to, you're going to stay in Thani or you're going out? I'm going out. Okay. Yeah. But I'll be coming back in December, so I'll keep on like touring as much as I can in Mumbai and then in India and everything. So, talking about music, music may have fashion sense. Dikta hai. Hmm. Hai. Wo ek specific fashion sense kidder se develop kiya. Wo coat pehna. What is it with you in the suits? Oh, me in the suits. Uh, <laughs> I just like suits. I, I don't think anybody can go wrong when they wear a suit. Ha. And. Uh, uh, when I was starting off, like, when I was shooting the cover art, the first song, tha, I think that was two days. Ka. That was like the first song I released with my brother. And then I was like, I don't know what to wear. And um, I was watching uh, How I Met Your Mother. Mm. Do you guys know How I Met Your Mother? Yeah, obviously. And then usme Barney ka character, he's like, uh. you can't go wrong with suits. So that's basically where the inspiration to wear suits. And anything based on like wearing a coat came from. So... Probably for like the foreseeable future, I'm just going to keep wearing different kinds of suits and anything visually that represent me as an artist. Okay, so fa- your fashion is basically perceived as very aesthetic or uh-huh. a very, you know, indie pop sort of a fashion. So, is way, do you ever feel that today's trend is that you think that your female fan following is Worthy because of the way you dress or the way your music is uh, increase. Hui hai. Because when we were researching about you, we figured out that your female fan following is very good. Let me tell you that. Shubham is very jealous. Bhi ho gaya tha. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's like, I think it's 60 40. That's what I see based on Instagram and analytics, anyways. Huh. I think uh, the way you dress is, I mean, based on how you're dressing, I can like. Get like a first impression of, of like how your personality is, how your personality mm. is, how you guys interact with people basically. So he likes to wear yellow, I can see that. And you like uh, to wear a jacket on top of a lot of a lot of things. And yeah, just the way people dress can tell a lot about how they are. Not too much. I don't think you should like judge like, people. Judge someone. people, but you can obviously get like a first impression. And uh, Obviously, you want to make a good first impression, so that's just how I dress to like show a little bit of my personality. I also think that when you dress a certain way, so what people perceive karte hai, usse zyada, if you're liking what you're wearing, so you feel confident. That feel is very hai. true, actually. Mm-hmm. When you are not thinking about like how you look, is when you're the most free and yourself, mm-hmm. basically. So when you're going out and like, you're like, oh, my pants are cut and I don't want to let anyone know or like my sock is cut then that's always in the back of your mind and you can't like actually enjoy whatever you're doing anyways you're like abhi jeans na dikh jai yeah so basically fashion is boy mere liye just a expression of myself so, okay how was the feel of fame for the, for you when you felt it for the first time I never actually felt it till I first performed live in front of like 300 people. It is a lot of people when you see yes. 300 people. And uh, it scares it the was, shit out of people. It scares the shit out of people. And uh, it was not my first performance, but it was my first performance with people who actually know me and know my music. And uh, I was very under But I did not tell that to anybody. You just gotta like. Fake it on stage till you actually ah. start feeling comfortable. Take a deep breath and yoga. I was like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my acting skills Avi, and I'm gonna act like, oh, this is chill, this is calm. Normal. I know how to perform in front of 300 people. <laughs> and then after like after like 10 minutes, people started singing along. So that was like a huge relief. 
उसके बाद एवरी थिंग गोज वेल इतने प्यार के बाद ठीक है यू गॉट सो मच लव कुछ हेटेड भी साथ में आ ही जाता है डीएम्स में कुछ कुछ लोग तो आके करते ही हैं नोटंगी तो उसको कैसे डील करते हो जस्ट मत डील करो उसके साथ दैट इज व्हाट आई से आई मीन क्या करोगे उसके साथ दैट्स इट्स लाइक दैट्स द एंड ऑफ इट यू कैन इंप्रूव एंड ऑलवेज ऑब्वियसली यू आर ट्राइंग योर बेस्ट टू ऑलवेज इंप्रूव योर न्यू यू आर ट्राइंग फिगरिंग स्टफ आउट आई एम गोना डू व्हाट आई वांट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आई डोंट केयर व्हाट पीपल से इनिशियली तो फर्क पड़ता होगा मतलब देखा तो होगा पता है बहुत इट वाज लाइक थोड़ी देर के लिए फर्क पड़ता है देन तभी आई ऑब्वियसली आई वाज 15 व्हेन ऑल दैट स्टार्टेड सो आई वाज लाइक आई आई गिव ऑल माय लाइक डीएम्स लाइक ओ डार्ट रीड ऑल माय डीएम्स एंड जस्ट टेल मी व्हाट आई नीड टू इंप्रूव ऑन आई डोंट वांट टू रीड दिस एंड सो बेसिकली दैट्स हाउ इट वाज एंड देन ही जस्ट टेल्स मी लाइक व्हाट व्हाट ऑल यू नीड टू इंप्रूव ऑन व्हाट ऑल इज परसीव्ड एज क्रिंजी और लाइक वियर्ड बाय पीपल बाय सर्टेन पीपल Do you think you have done something cringe? Obviously, sabka cringe phase hota hai, bro. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I've done a lot of cringy stuff. One cringy stuff I did was I had this like pubescent mustache, which I never shaved off. Oh, I think everybody sh- should yes. shave it off. I But think every guy in the world, so it's like they're like, like no, a beard guy. I'm a merd man, bro. But jab tak jab tak you can't grow a full beard, I I think you should shave it off. That's just my personal opinion, basically. So, क्या आप अभी भी अपने डीएम्स या कमेंट्स पढ़ते हो यार आई थिंक अभी ऐसा पॉइंट आ जाता है लाइक फर्स्ट व्हेन यू आर लाइक गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रीच ऑब्वियसली और यू आर ब्लोइंग अप एसेंशियली इन द म्यूजिक सीन पीपल आर लाइक हु इज दिस गाय व्हाई इज ही गेटिंग एन अपॉर्चुनिटी व्हेन आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एंड दे मे बी बेटर देन मी बट आई डोंट नो इट्स लाइक इट्स इट्स अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ लक एज़ वेल एंड इट्स अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ लाइक नोइंग हाउ द एल्गोरिथम वर्क्स I ah. think uske piche you have to think a lot ki like oh this is working these videos are getting more non follower views and then you shortlist those videos and then you're like oh i need to make something like this or go into that a little bit more so that it teaches new people but sometimes it also like ki uh, i don't want more people to follow me cuz uske baad there's more opinions coming into the there's new people expecting that that type of content from which they followed me because of the video which they followed me and sometimes it's just like oh i'll just make stuff for the people who are actually here now ha uh, but wo log bhi hain jo ki kafi time se kafi same time content se, dekhte hain now they dekhte. want you to change a little bit or or they like oh oh raman badal gaya or something ha <laughs> what people do is ki agar unki ek video viral hoti hai to wo same content dalte rehte hain dalte rehte hain jab tak ki wo That is a good strategy actually. But after some point, वो खत्म हो जाता है. It gets it gets monotonous, हाँ. and then हाँ. you don't retain your followers that way. You want exactly. to create something for your followers also, and something for your own sake also. I think a very good example of this is the kacha badam trend, which blew up in lockdown, and a few creators same content bar bar. Kacha badam trend. Uh, what, what is this? Anjali Arora, don't you know? Uh, I have no I have no clue what this actually, is. Actually, okay, so she, that was a dance basically. जो कि कच्चा बादाम एक गाना था कच्चा बादाम बेसिकली शायद बंगाल या ओरिसा में एक काफी क्रिंज गाना सेलर, था सेलर था वो शायद मूंगफली बेचता था तो वो गाता था उन लोगों ने उठा के उसको मिक्स कर दिया अभी उस पे एक अंजलि अरोरा करके एक इन्फ्लुएंसर है वो डांस करती थी तो वो बहुत वायरल हुआ था ओके एंड देन शी मेड इट सो मच की सेम रील पे सेम टाइप ऑफ कॉन्टेंट पे तीन चार रील्स बने so but you chose a different path aapki mm-hmm. when your first two three reels blew up of the covers that you made mm-hmm. to fir you started making apna khud ka music that is true i think khud ka i think i i don't know how to like say this or put it into words i think khud ka you need to keep doing what you what you want to do when mm-hmm. you are making something and not what people want or always cuz then you will start hating doing it mm-hmm. and uh Um I was obviously putting out songs before posting my first covers and those songs did not do that well but I had like a few songs under my locker jo like opportunity milte you put them out so that people who are there can get redirected to what you actually want them to see mm-hmm. and making covers is fun it's not like actually making 
content content it's just shooting a video of you live singing basically and what type uh, type of content do you consume do i consume yeah um uh, a lot of random memes no, i don't no, call no. them memes they're just random videos and the funny part is the comments are funnier than the videos yes <laughs> cringe videos dekhne ke baad lagta kyun dekha and then you open the comments and you're like ha is it dekhte hum log actually last tak hi hai wo cringe pata pehle second se pata hota hai ki cringe hai lekin last tak jate hai aur uske baad comments scroll karte that's fair so when you were making covers aur uske baad aapne apne khud ke dale gaane dale to was that a strategy in your mind ki pehle covers dalta hu and let me grab some audience aur uske baad apni obviously that is something all artists should if they have nothing they're starting from ground zero i think the best bet is to start putting covers of popular songs cuz people know those songs and then udhar se you can take that and use it for your own benefit kya do you listen to prateek kohar and anup jain i used to okay but i've listened to like a few anup jain songs and i've heard the whole um album this myth cold mess is there hmm. from prateek kohar hmm. i love that album that was I used to listen to that before I started making music properly. Yeah, that was very inspiring because Indian music industry, man, there's no singers known for their song. They yeah. have written, they have made. Everything is their own project. It's just all. Oh, you playback singer, huh? You know the oh. actor. You know the movie. Mm-hmm. You don't know the singer unless it's a Rajit Singh or somebody very popular. And even if you do, then you know the voice. You know the voice. You don't know the person who's written the song. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You never know कि अगर अरिजीत सिंह ने इतना अच्छा गाना गाया है बट वो सोच शायद अरिजीत सिंह की नहीं द लिरिसिस्ट ऑब्वियसली हैज टू बी देयर या सो दैट इज वॉट यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई थिंक एग्जैक्टली एंड आई थिंक खुद का बच्चा रहता है इट्स लाइक यू राइट अ सॉन्ग कम्प्लीटली यू प्रोड्यूस इट कम्प्लीटली फ्रॉम स्क्रैच क्रिएट साउंड ऑफ दिन एयर एंड देन यू कम्पोज इट प्रॉपरली यू मिक्स मैस्टर इट योर सेल्फ एंड देन यू पुर इट आउट इट्स लाइक अ कम्प्लीट आर्ट आर्ट पीस फ्रॉम लाइक स्क्रैच एंड that's just the benefit of being an independent artist you have full control but it's also a lot of work wo rehta hai independent artist mein what mm-hmm. makes these two pratik kohar and anuj jain different from other singers like they are at the top of their genre they're not different from other singers when it comes to singing yeah. but they're different from people in in the way that they took a different route obviously all artists are taking the different route now and they want to they want their own name to be their own brand they want everything to be their own like reflection basically mm. Mm. and obviously wo karne ke liye you need to like mess around in the industry obviously thoda sa help other people out write songs for other people produce songs for other people and then you get your label deal you don't even need a label deal you can just do everything on your own with like content which which like supports your new release or anything like that so is it even uh... necessary to be under a label for a singer for a singer for a singer i would say yes but if you can produce your own music i don't think so if you're truly an independent artist so fair yeah if you know how to manage your finances if you know how to market yourself then you don't need to be under a label but having a team as a label obviously has its perks now i'm signed to a label because i basically wanted a team which like works with me and like speeds up the process and like Obviously, I know my label. I know they're they're very creative people, and they can mm-hmm. like elevate me. Only then should you sign to a label, not like a traditional label. That oh, I will get more reach if I sign to a label. That's not mm-hmm. how it works. So, do you think that because the mostly notion is that labels get you to industry people, or obviously they have a massive impact on the cinematography of your videos because Fair. budgets are there. Budgets are there. Obviously, for an independent artist to get budgets for the video shoot and everything is a little mm-hmm. difficult so jadoi pari your track amazing track first of all mm-hmm. thank you so much i was when for for the first time i listened to the track mm-hmm. i just i didn't realize but i was murmuring the hook by the end of the song okay so that was a great track but i want to know ki jadoi pari ka the music video is amazingly shot the suit the crown the everything the mm-hmm. concept is great तो डू यू थिंक कि क्या एक इंडिपेंडेंट आर्टिस्ट जो कि आपकी स्टेज पे है कैन क्रिएट सच म्यूजिक वीडियोस विदाउट अ लेबल ऑब्वियसली आई डोंट थिंक जादुई परी का म्यूजिक वीडियो वाज शॉट विद अ लॉट ऑफ बजट इन फैक्ट आई लाइक टू कीप मोस्ट ऑफ द बजट एज एन आर्टिस्ट टुवर्ड्स मार्केटिंग एंड 
that's basically just my opinion and obviously having a good music video helps but if you have talented people behind the camera and you have a good concept without requiring a lot like you know logistically it will not take a take up a lot of budget to shoot this video but it's a crazy idea hmm. go ahead and shoot it you can take any camera even with an iphone and like just have a, like a stable hand behind it or like a gimbal or anything hmm. and if the idea is nice it has a story behind it it can do wonders kya video zaruri hai because initially jo shubh ke gaane sune hai maine shubh ke pehle वीडियोस नहीं होते थे सिर्फ ऑडियो फाइल्स वो अपलोड करते थे और बहुत पॉपुलर है वो सो इज इट इवन नेसेसरी टू शूट अ वीडियो फॉर दैट नो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी बट अगर गाने बहुत सारे स्पॉटिफाई पे ऑर्गेनिकली भी ब्लो अप होते हैं लाइक यू यू डोंट नो द आर्टिस्ट एंड देन उनके गाने रैंडमली दे यू फाइंड देम एंड दे हैव लाइक मिलियंस ऑफ स्ट्रीम्स दे डोंट हैव एनी लेबल दे डोंट हैव एनी म्यूजिक वीडियो बट इफ दे हैड अ म्यूजिक वीडियो दैट सॉन्ग could reach new heights so it's not necessary but obviously it helps cuz aajkal everything is short form content and if you have a music video jiske tum clips bana ke dal sakte ho hmm. you have any video in fact hmm. obviously it's going to do better or what kind of genre do you listen i listen to pop r&b a little bit of hip hop but not too much okay only only the best kind of hip hop indian hip hop follow karte ho aap not a lot but i am i'm a huge fan of like how how far it has come पहले कृष्णा का कैसा मेरा देश का ना ब्लू अप बैक वेन देर वॉज नो हिप हॉप सीन इन दंट्री तो इवन कृष्णा से जब वो ब्लू अप हुआ था तो आई वॉज नॉट प्रिपेयर कि ये ब्लॉप होगा तो हाउ विल आई डील विद इट तो वहां से कृष्णा अगेन हैड टू टेक अ स्टेप बैक इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल द फेम जो दैट वाज थ्रोन एट हिम बट रिसेंटली कृष्णा व्हेन ही ब्लू अप तो हिज फर्स्ट ट्रैक वाज फ्री वाज फीस व्हिच वाज बेसिकली अ डिस डायरेक्टेड एट एमी वे बट देन कृष्णा ने अपना परसोना ऐसे क्रिएट किया कि नाउ ही इज द टॉप लिरिकल गॉड in the indian hip hop industry oh so do you think ki aap jaise uh, for example it is acclaimed you obviously said ki you made covers first of all ki mere gaane thode blow ho uske baad then i'll put up my songs put my songs out to kya aapko lagta hai ki jaise krishna ne uh, he actually made a diss and then apna persona build kiya do you see yourself creating a similar somewhat kind of a thing ki pehle kisi aur cheez se thodi attention mil jaye and hmm. then i'll actually put my thing out aur logo ko batau ki main kitna talented hu and you have been sleeping on me i think krishna was very smart when it came to like saving the best for the last hmm but also as an artist whatever you feel just put it out i don't think you should like uh wait for the opportunity to like oh mera maine abhi best gana likha hai for all you know it might do well now and even even though it might be the song which takes you out but if you think it's not for like the audience which you have right now mat don't put it out and like save it if you like have something really really great created usko bacha ke rakho because khud ke liye pyara and thinking of like taking a different opportunity and like turning it your way that is also a great idea i mean even me in some way I took like making covers and like, and now shifting myself into being more of like a like an like I was always an independent artist, but I want to be more of a mainstream artist now than a person who just sings covers on Instagram, basically. Okay. Talking about ki baad ke liye bacha ke rakhe, ham sab bachpan mein Hani Singh ke fan the. Obviously. Pura desh fan tha unka, but recent times mein unka comeback nahi ho pa raha. Baad. के बचाने के बाद भी उनके पास कुछ कुछ अभी गाने उनके आ रहे बट वो बिल्कुल भी पॉपुलर नहीं हो पा रहे या चल नहीं रहे तो ही इज नॉट बेसिकली एबल टू आई थिंक वो पॉपुलर अभी भी है बट वो वैसा बज नहीं जनरेट कर पा रहे जो बैक इन 2014 था वो पॉपुलर है गाने नहीं हो पा रहे एवरीबॉडी हैज अ प्राइम आई मीन देयर आर सम सॉन्ग्स व्हिच यू जस्ट कैन नॉट बी लाइक उसके जो गाने था अभी थे दे आर नॉस्टैल्जिक फॉर मी नाउ बिकॉज़ आई वाज वेरी स्मॉल देन एंड आई मीन 
for me i think he hit his prime back then i mean he still might be able to like surpass it surpass it you never know cuz it's yeah. honey singh but those songs are just amazing i can i can never see a better song than that international his blue Limited. eyes love those those kind of songs are like yeah. they're my childhood sabki the yeah we're also the fans <laughs> talking about childhood आपने कहा कि यू वॉन्टेड टू लर्न ड्रम्स देन यू वुट टू तबला क्लासेस एंड देन यू स्टार्टेड हैविंग मोर इंटरेस्ट इन म्यूजिक इफ आई आस्क यू हु इज योर इंस्पिरेशन वेन इट कम्स टू म्यूजिक ओके आई लव फुल स्टोरी सो आई स्टार्ट विथ आई वॉन्ट टू ऑलवेज लर्न ड्रम्स एंड देन माई ब्रदर हैड एन एक्सीडेंट एट होम एंड लाइक देर वॉज अ बिग है दरवाजा एंड इट जस्ट लैम इट वॉज हैंड सो दैट्स वन यू गॉट लाइक फ्रैक्चर एंड माई माम वॉज लाइक My mom has these crazy ideas. She's like, "Oh, उसका finger का movement practice करने के लिए पूरा इंटर कीबोर्ड प्रैक्टिस." And he learned, he learned piano now. So he started learning piano. I started learning piano. I hated piano. I dropped out of the classes. Then I started learning tabla. We both started learning tabla. Then I don't remember exactly what happened. Then he started learning guitar, and then I learned guitar from him. Then obviously, then ninth grade happened. I had my first middle school crush. Then I started writing songs, basically for her. For her, pretty, very pretty romantic. Very, very romantic. Yeah. Got some release? Huh? Nine and nine. Exclusive? No, 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 no. Those songs were so crazy. But that was the first song I ever wrote. So I remember that. And um, um, after that, obviously, lockdown happened, and then I started making my own songs. Yeah, and then the breakup happened, so I started writing more sad songs. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, when when you're like when your first breakup happens and you're like so innocent, you don't know what to do with, do with life. Like whatever you had, is not there. It was. It is not. You just have to cope with it. Achanak se solar system ka sun gaib ho jata hai. Yeah. So be. I mean that is everybody's fault, but you can't stop it because you make everything about them, but it's not. And then you learn that. Obviously, you learn that. So, are you in a relationship right now? Yeah. Okay. So I would. I would. That yeah. would be a major turn off for all your female fans. Sad for yeah. guys. Kakar da, kakar da. Yeah, I mean, I, I. Yeah, I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Do you like keeping stuff private to you? Yeah, obviously. Now that I have become an introvert because of lockdown, yeah, I don't like talking to people, but I can bear with people. I mean, obviously, I like talking <laughs> right now, but like, it's like you're going, you're, you're. Obviously, I, I've come for a podcast. I've come to talk to people right now. And I'm enjoying mm-hmm. it, but when you're like just going about your day, and sometimes it's just random when people come. It's just the introvert is mine. Social battery khata me. Hmm. कभी कभी रहता ही नहीं है सोशल बैटरी एंड और होती है तो इतनी जल्दी ड्रेन कर जाती है कि यू लाइक चलो हैप्पी कॉर्नर घर का कभी कभी सोचता ना लाइक यू आर हाईएस्ट यू आर लाइक वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड देन यू आर वेरी वेरी सैड एंड यू डोंट नो द रीजन व्हाई इज दिस हैपनिंग हां जस्ट नेक्स्ट मोमेंट पे या जस्ट नेक्स्ट मोमेंट पे एंड इट हैपेंस अ लॉट समटाइम्स आई जस्ट वांट टू पार्टी एंड टॉक टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल नेक्स्ट मोमेंट आई एम जस्ट लाइक लीव मी अलोन देयर इज नो रीजन फॉर इट एंड दैट इज वैलिड टॉकिंग अबाउट ब्रेकअप what was it like uh for you for the first time how did you feel and how did you cope up with that how did i cope up with that yeah um i did not cope up with that okay i mean i was in a pretty bad state when i first broke up and i wrote one of my best songs tabi which i have not put out yet so <laughs> i mean it is a blessing in this guys obviously hmm. every breakup jab bhi kisko hota hai aisa toote hua aashiq rehta they always have their like ठोकरा के मेरा प्यार मेरा इंतकाम देखेगी वो फेस पास होता है देन यू आर लाइक ओ यू एक्सेप्ट इट एंड देन देन यू स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग ऑब्वियसली एज लाइक अ आई वुंट बी दिस पर्सन आई एम टुडे इफ आई इट्स नॉट फॉर द ब्रेकअप व्हिच हैपेंड ये इस सारे आर्टिस्ट का ऐसा होता है क्या कि जब तक ऐसे सब लोग के साथ होता है इट्स नॉट जस्ट आर्टिस्ट ओके तेरा भी ब्रेकअप हो जाएगा तेरा भी ब्रेकअप हो जाएगा फर्स्ट ऐसा नहीं दिल टूटने के बाद एक अलग जोन में जाते हैं सब हां या कि आप तो फोड़ दूंगा एक नया गाना बना दूंगा नई पेंटिंग बना दूंगा ऑब्वियसली <laughs> <laughs> सबका आर्टिस्ट बाहर आता फेयर इनफ टॉकिंग अबाउट अनरिलीज्ड गाने हम हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम हैव यू 
written down, recorded, and you have completely ready, but you have not put out it. Complete recorded? No, I don't. I don't record songs. If I have recorded them, obviously I want to put them out. But I've written a lot of songs. A the lot. Number. There are like thirty-five songs. Thirty-five yeah. songs. Yeah. But the problem, kya hai? Pata hai? I write. I. 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 I feel Jadoo Pari is very is very Hindi. like that exactly that's what I'm trying to do. कि हिंदी पे ज़्यादा focus करना चाहते हैं हिंदी पे ज़्यादा focus and English पे भी also like because the song Jadoo Pari fortunately मैंने हिंदी में लिखा था with a little bit of English lyrics हाँ and um, बाकी सब गाने मैं like अभी for example the song I'm gonna put out now is gonna be a song I written in English but इसमें थोड़ा सा हिंदी भी डाल दिया मैंने so वो figure out करने को थोड़ा time लगता है and a lot of songs like about twenty thirty songs are like in English so उसको अभी put out करना doesn't make sense because the audience is very limited when it comes to that और वो भी I feel mostly Hindi audience है Hindi audience है हाँ what is the process of writing ऐसा आप कैसे लिखते हो मतलब randomly कभी एक thought आ गया या चलते चलते ये एक line ये भी हो सकती है आह ऐसे नहीं होता it's like Sometimes you feel a feeling, and that feeling, uh, we engulf each other. Hmm. It's mostly when I'm alone in my bed with a guitar in my hand, and I just put on my voice notes. And all of us have different ways of writing. And the way I do it is, I just keep on, I like, I stop thinking, and I just keep on murmuring whatever I feel. Whatever comes to my mind, even if it's like the most outrageous stuff I've ever heard myself say. But I just let it out, and then afterwards, I don't realize what I'm saying, Tavi, and I'm just like playing a chord progression, and I'm just speaking, speaking, nay, like singing melodies, and like words are coming out which I don't even know what they mean. And then afterwards, when I listen to that voice memo, it's like, whoa, I feel this way. I could realize what I could say. Like uh-huh. I've been hiding it from myself, and oh, like the things you want to say but you don't actually say, and you don't even want to say, you know, you feel them. But you don't actually say them; they come out of your subconscious, and that's basically like when that one light hits, you're like, "Oh shit, I actually feel that way." So, as you around, you build your song, you song, and then whatever words fit with whatever rhyme, whatever melody, you just place them under there, and there you have it. You have a song. So basically, this is how you find your first, at least the initial of the song, and I feel that. जब पहली लाइन आ जाती है तो बिल्डिंग अप ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट थोड़ा आसान हो इट्स वेरी इजी हां बट कभी ऐसा हुआ कि व्हेन यू आर रिकॉर्डिंग अ वॉइस मेमो तो आप जब बाद में व्हेन यू हियरिंग इट अगेन आप बोल रहे हो क्या बकरा था मैं <laughs> बहुत बार आता बट यूजुअली वॉइस मेमोस आर सो लाइक इंटीमेट कि लाइक व्हेन यू लिसन टू इट यू आर लाइक दिस इज दिस वाज एक्चुअली मी व्हेन आई फेल्ट दैट फीलिंग तो यू आर लाइक ये फीलिंग को मैं कैसे प्रोफेशनल साउंडिंग प्रॉपर सॉन्ग करूं दैट इज बेसिकली हाउ यू गो अबाउट इट And I think people who start writing songs by writing them is not the right way to go. It's just you're writing a poem. You can't make a song out of a poem. You need to have a melody, and uske upar putting lyrics is the way to go. Like I've told a lot of my friends this, and they just like they're like, "Oh, I have written a song, but like, but like, ga ke dikha, ga ke nahi dikha." You're ab likha hai, but there's no song to it. It's just a poem. Ah. Uh-huh. So you need to have a melody, uske saath gaana likh sakta. Sab ki style jo hoti hai. वो जो उनका फेवरेट सिंगर होता है या जो उनका तो उनसे वो कॉपीड होता है कॉपीड या एक इंस्पिरेशन होती है झलक दिख जाती है उसकी डू यू गाइस राइट म्यूजिक नो नो आई एक तो गाना लिखा रहेगा कभी तो आई यूज्ड टू राइट हिप हॉप सॉन्ग्स रैप्स बेसिकली वो बट देन इट इज लाइक 3 4 इयर्स डाउन द लाइन नो आई डोंट इवन रिमेंबर व्हाट डू यू सॉन्ग आई जस्ट डिडंट फील टू कंटिन्यू इट एनीमोर आई मीन कॉलेज में कितने सारे फेस्टिवल्स होता है यू नो I went to like this one college event where I was judging, and the theme was Independence Day, and this guy he rapped about corruption, <laughs> Hindi me, and it was crazy. He won the first prize basically. So like continuing with rapping and writing hip hop lyrics is like a really good way to like express your feelings. It's really amazing. I think also music helps you reflect. Music re- reflects on you in many other ways. For mm-hmm. example, as you said, ki 
मुझे जैकेट्स पहनना अच्छा लगता है आई थिंक वो भी हिप हॉप का एक गिफ्ट है ठीक है। बहुत पुराना ओके एक्चुअली माई सिस्टर यूज टू लिसन टू देम और वहां से फिर बेसिकली मैं गेम्स खेल रहा होता था कंप्यूटर में माई सिस्टर वुड बी लाइक मेरे गाने लगा दो एंड देन आई डेंट रियलाइज एंड आई स्टार्टेड यू नो मेमोराइजिंग द लिरिक्स तो वहां से फिर इट केम टू म्यूजिक वीडियोस आई सॉ दोस बॉम्बर जैकेट्स एंड दोस द टू पार्क शिट बेसिकली एंड देन फिर वहां से जैकेट्स का लव इतना बढ़ गया कि इट इज अ वे ऑफ ड्रेसिंग फॉर मी नाउ तो इज दैट व्हाट यू हैव गॉटन फ्रॉम समवन हु यू हैव लुक्ड अप टू हम आई जस्ट वेयर माय डार्क क्लोथ्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई मीन मी माय ब्रदर एंड माय डैड हैव लाइक similar sizes Size? of shoes not shoes now but like clothing apparel anyways so i think thoda mera wo vintage look uske wajah se aata hai cuz my dad was in his college days it was the 80s ka time going on hmm. and he used to wear those kind of clothes and uh, i just wear his clothes this is his clothes this is not but this is his so yeah i just acha lagta hai dad ke kapde pehen ke that's just basically my style I don't think about it so much. Uh, when you're talking about your dad, what has your dad's influence been on your journey as a musician? That is a good question. Mm. My dad is always supportive of whatever I do. He's like a very a very good father in the sense that like the way the way parents sometimes are, not always. is like they want this agenda of their own like dreams it's very common to be put on to be put children. on the child basically and my dad is not like that he will basically he'll he'll drive me to whatever event there is be it athletics football matches or any event now obviously i don't need to drive myself i can drive myself but hmm. he was like very oh you can do whatever you want you have the passion you go for it as is the potential in what there was not like oh you're not good at this don't do this he was never like that so that's one good thing about my dad basically he never said oh don't do music don't do football he was always like oh just 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 work on he was not like oh just study just become a doctor just become an engineer he was like do whatever you want and if that works out be happy agar singer nahi hote to kya hote I would be focusing on football. First of all, you okay. you 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 said that 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 So, do you consider that you are a full-time singer ho no? full-time singer? No. Full-time artist? Maybe. Abhi, mera vacation chala tha. It was the longest <laughs> vacation. It was like from March to September now. Four exams hone ke baad. Obviously. Yeah. Hi, it's bahut lamba I mean, I, I, I like to make music and then I like to play football. I like to game a little. I like to um yeah and then just studies basically. Do you watch anime? I I do so I don't watch anime. I can't say I watch anime cuz I've watched a few animes but I don't watch anime. Okay. So if I say I watch anime I don't watch anime. Death Note dekha? Nahi, Death Note bhi nahi dekha. So you watched an anime which is not Death Note. Don't call me out but maine Death Note ka recap dekha. Matlab Death Note to starter pack hota hai. Recap dekha. I I I've seen Naruto to. Obviously, yeah. Naruto the was amazing, and I've seen the new uh, One Piece car Netflix series. It's not anime, okay. but it's the Haan. Netflix series. Hmm. Very good. Do you like anime? Yeah, but One Piece didn't see. <laughs> one Piece is one of the longest anime. Haan, so, it's not. 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 So, it लोग उसको अभी रिमिक्स कर रहे हैं कॉपी कर रहे हैं जो जो उनकी ऑथेंटिसिटी खत्म कर रही है ठीक है देर वॉज अ बैंड सनम करके यू मस्ट हैव हर्डिम वो क्या करते थे कि ऐसे uh, उसको नए तरीके से करते थे कि एक रिफ्रेशिंग टेस्ट आता था बट ऑथेंटिसिटी कम नहीं होती थी हाँ आई मीन ऑथेंटिसिटी इन द वे Like if you want the authentic thing, then just listen to the old song. Hmm. 
and the way the way all of music is like progressing now is just everything is digital and you can sample a lot of things and like flip them around that's basically how hip hop works basically yeah. there are, it's uh, it's very heavily sample based hmm. and i mean there are so many songs just ke samples use karke you make songs which are like the best hip hop songs of all time i mean like kendrick lamar does it kanye hmm. west does it there are so many amazing songs and uh, yeah i think there should be no like bad opinion against remaking stuff or hmm. remixing and sampling stuff cuz that just using audio and putting your own twist to it there should be like no restrictions when it comes to us unless you're obviously using the same thing you're copying it basically that hmm. is infringing copyright hmm. plagiarism plagiarism yeah so thoda sa time travel karte hain and yeah. let's say the year is 2028 5 years okay or where is raman sharma you think humanity is going to survive in 2028 <laughs> That is a very optimistic opinion. <laughs> okay. But COVID. where is Raman Sharma now? Raman Sharma has graduated college, made a lot of money, hopefully. Um, uh, has put out a lot of projects. Has done a lot of other projects also, apart from music. and yeah hopefully hopefully everything is working out great 2028 how old will i be how, wait that's like 23 it's 5 23 yeah that much only i would not say I have a family and settle down and all that <laughs> so 23 is very young where will you be in 5 years it's like a interview question you just said interview this ani rahega where do you see yourself in 5 like, years uh, what's, what's going on i want to know ki aap artistically kitna expand karna chahte ho artistically kitna you just got karna. signed to label oh i might have probably put out the songs which i'm get keeping now <laughs> yeah that's all i can say <laughs> congratulations i mean yeah <laughs> so break up wala song dal dena please hmm, fair we'll put on headphones and no it's like i want to like create this artist persona in which there's like a story there always needs to be a story hmm. you can't put a breakup song and then put a party song next time I mean that actually works. You can't put a party song and then put a breakup <laughs> song next, you know? Yes. That also works. You can't put like a love song everything works, everything you know? Works. I can't I can't for defend myself. For someone here. something would work and for yeah, someone Yeah, but you need else? like a little gradual like step by step jana chahiye. Hmm. Ha. You know? Nahi to it's like you're all over the place. To aapke kuch dream collaborations if there are any, what would they be? I mean dream collaborations. Koi benchmark hai? Uh benchmark hmm. no do you want to reach i i book out a stadium i mean what what else can there be a benchmark i don't see like oh i want a million streams i want to collaborate with this artist i just want the biggest stadium ever and the biggest crowd ever i want to do an era store of mine exactly one too much is too much for me <laughs> one big crowd and like that's the highlight of my life that's it then i can rest in peace <laughs> yeah that's like the benchmark basically it's guys the limit are you a materialistic person i I'm, i'm guilty of being a materialistic <laughs> person i think everybody is a mater- no yeah everybody is a materialistic person everybody some people find a way to justify it a little no Lekin, not being materialistic in the sense ki like oh i want this also i want that also hmm. like ek cheez para rehta you want to keep that ah. or, or or like your favorite perfume gets over you want another one of that same like you're same attached flavor. to some things of yours ha ah. ha वैसे materialistic yeah material cars pasand hai i just learned driving like 2 months ago bro okay. and wo okay. ghatiya gaadi pe jis pe seekha hai na i cannot <laughs> i want to drive a good car basically kabhi kari the Do you think I'm in a position to buy a car? I cannot afford that. So I want to ask ki abhi ke liye jo music industry ka scene hai. Mm-hmm. Aap jo upcoming artists abhi agar kisi ko industry mein aana hai mm-hmm. to kya advice hogi? Abhi agar kisko music industry ke scene mein aana hai to you will have to network obviously. You will have to find your way depending on where you are you need to come to a city basically where there are other artists you can collaborate with 
if or find people who will lift you up musically and just work with a lot of people while putting out your own content you have to keep on putting out your own content you can put out like you can start your own own journey of moving out and like start this series of like oh i moved out of my hometown to the city mm. to start my music musical journey day 1 day 2 day 3 like i think that would work really well and like then just network networking with people and uh, just finding your way into the scene basically i think yeah city mein network karna you start connecting with the city because of it is why i say divine and every other artist Haan. who has grown from scratch uh-huh. thoda they start representing the city they start representing Even the in city. the west fair for the east coast and west fair. coast obviously but obviously with all that you can't just come here and be like oh i don't do social media i just want to network and then people will hear my music that's not how ah, it's going to work obviously not. you will have to keep on putting yourself out there and it will be bad at first people will ridicule you at first but if you keep posting and if you keep on putting yourself out there and putting yourself in uncomfortable situations obviously dheere dheere you will get better at being uncomfortable and kuch bhi ho jaye you will just know who you are basically yeah. thank you raman thank you for coming You're welcome. and it was nice thank talking so to you thank you having me and we had really we really had fun yeah it was great getting to know you guys also some engineers were here but i just want to know ke agar ya pe for our viewers jado hi pare ki do line more than for the viewers for me really i mean i've not vocally warmed this camera i've not vocally warmed up right now but jado hi pare ka the main hook goes like और अधूरी अधूरी बातों में वो सभी भागे वो भागे है एक तरह से दूर यादों में यादों में पर बसी है तू ओके दैट वाज ग्रेट तो कैसे लगे आज के कटाक्ष उम्मीद है ये पॉडकास्ट आपको भी उतना इंटरेस्टिंग लगा होगा अगर इंटरेस्टिंग लगा तो लाइक करें शेयर करें सब्सक्राइब करें और कमेंट करें अपने कटाक्ष हमारे साथ कटाक्ष करना मत भूलना